finishing up this problem, I have part C solved by factoring. x squared plus 5x equals x minus 3. Once again, the first step to solve by factoring is to write the equation in standard form, meaning move every term to one side of the equation and have 0 on the other. So notice I was adding x. I subtracted from the left. I was subtracting 3. I added on the left. Now I notice I have some like terms, 5x minus, there's a 1 here, 1x. So I can write that as x squared plus 5 minus 1 is 4x plus 3 equals 0. Now I notice that I have no common factors between x squared, 4x, and 3. So I'm going to try the trial and error approach. So my first terms are x and x because x times x is x squared. I want my product to be 3 because I have a 3 here, so that's going to be 3 times 1. My sum is going to be positive 4, that's going to be plus 3 plus 1. Don't forget to equal 0. Once I have my product set equal to 0, I can set each of my terms, my factors actually, equal to 0. So x plus 3 equals 0, or x plus 1 equals 0. Solving each of these for x, I get x equals negative 3, or x equals negative 1. Those should be my solutions to the original quadratic, but let's double check by graphing. If I go to y equals and clear y1, y2 should be set to 0. I'm going to enter this part here, x squared plus 4x plus 3. And then the equals 0 part is here. Check my window. If I have a standard window, I'm going to press graph. And then that's going to give me an idea of the shape. And I think we're looking pretty good because I can see that I've got some crosses here and here. And I'm betting that that's going to be crossing at negative 3, 0 and that this one is going to be crossing at negative 1, 0. So let's verify. Second, calc, 5, intersect process. First equation, <clears throat> second equation, guess, and I get my intersection of negative 1, 0. So the solution of x equals negative 1 checks. Second, calc, 5, again, move my cursor closer to the intersection I have not yet found. Press enter three times to achieve the intersection of negative 3, 0. Verifying here and confirming the solution of x equals negative 3. So I have two solutions to my original equation and they are x equals negative 3 or x equals negative 1.